Someone wrote in and asked, at one point, does taking care of yourself drop into selfishness or hedonism? And I really love, Reed, that you're talking often about taking care of yourself in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So this is Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. This is Kathy Raituli from IntimacyDojo.com. She will now deliver to us the definition of hedonism. I had to look it up, actually. It's <laughs> it is also a club in Jamaica. Yes. It came up first, actually. The belief that pleasure or happiness is the most important goal in life. And I think that that doesn't necessarily mean... so. Hedonism has gotten a bad slant. Like People use the word to mean something negative. Mm -hmm. But I don't think looking for pleasure or happiness is necessarily a bad thing. No, no. So I think you need to be selfish in life. Um, now, if that means that your child is choking and you haven't watched the finished the latest episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that you need to finish the episode and then help your child. No, that's not what I mean by selfish. What I mean by selfish is you actually need to take care of yourself first. Mm -hmm. the, the great example being you need to put your oxygen mask on first in the airplane, should we lose a sudden change in cabin pressure, so that you can help the person next to you. That kind of selfishness, I think, is appropriate. Yes. And that is the definition of taking care of yourself. Taking care of yourself so that you have the resources to take care of other people. Now, there will be emergencies where you need to go, you have to like not take care of yourself for a second to take care of somebody else. But if you're having to do that at the the detriment of your own well-being, the way that plays out is eventually you can't take care of anybody. You'll start getting resentful and angry. One of the things I really love, and I learned this from you, Reed, you talk about if you can talk with your partner and identify, this question was from someone who was asking about with their partner how to handle that, but if you can identify what your intention is for the relationship, if you know what your intention is, why are you in a relationship, and what you'd like to create with your partner in that relationship, that can help you define what you want to do and when, when to say, well, this is a time I, I choose to invest in the relationship, or now I'm going to take care of myself, because there's a, there's a balance sometimes there. Mm -hmm. And again, in, in that situation, if you pull back a little bit and see the, a larger picture, you taking care of yourself allows you to take care of the relationship. Mm -hmm. So, you know, where things get tricky, like when we have kids and things like that, you're sleep deprived because they, their needs are so great. Yeah. But that's also where you need to diversify how you get your needs met so that both of you, both parents or however many parents are involved in the situation, um, you're not so depleted that you don't have the energy to go to go off and take care of getting your needs met. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this is about understanding your own needs, um, being able to speak up about them, and how do you have community and family and friends around you to help through the tough times yeah. so that you're not so overwhelmed and stressed out and depleted that you can't put your oxygen mask on or the other person's oxygen yeah. mask on. And that kind of selfishness is how you take care of yourself and the people that you love. You have to be anonymous about that sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean it's easy. It's simple, but that doesn't mean it's always easy to do. Yeah. And I think having a bigger intention, just seeking pleasure at the expense of your relationship or ex what you want to create in a relationship or in life, that's not necessarily self-serving either. So looking, if you have a clear intention, I want to create whatever out of this relationship. I want, you know, and I really love the stated intention between people. Let's co-create this. And mm -hmm. I choose to create co-create this or create this. That lets you say, okay, I can put aside pleasure in the interest of growing this long term or supporting this long term. So it's not always, taking care of yourself isn't always about seeking the pleasure or seeking happiness, oh, yeah. like the good feeling in the moment. It can also be about what, you're, what you want to create out of your relationship, what you want to experience in this world. Leave your comments, your thoughts. Watch some other videos of ours. Comments are below. Thanks very much. <laughs>